It's happened multiple times. Family is walking down a street suddenly attacked by two pit bulls. In one case, a family's chihuahua died. In another, a man was able to defend himself and his dog. Now the accused owner of the attack dogs is expected to face charges, but he says he shouldn't be held responsible. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart is here with more. Crystal, in both cases, the victims tell me they didn't see it coming. We interviewed one man who says he did all he could to fight off the attack. Police say walks along this Santa Fe Arroyo have turned into vicious attacks by these two pit bulls. I mean, usually dogs are pretty, pretty easy to scare off, just loud noises, maybe a couple rocks their way and they'll run away, but these dogs, not at all. They just, you know, just kept at it. Mark Olszewski was with his girlfriend and their two dogs when he says the pits latched onto his dog's neck. His girlfriend ran to get help as he tried to fight them off. They were still just coming after us. Uh, since there were two of them, they were trying to circle me to my dog who was hurt behind me. Um, and yeah, they, they did not leave. He says he tried yelling, kicking, and throwing rocks as the dogs latched onto his arms. After about 15 minutes, he says he grabbed his pocket knife. And not really until they turned their attention more towards me as well did I really you know, felt it necessary to do that. Even with knife wounds, Olszewski says the dogs kept attacking until he says a cousin of the dog's owners called them off. But days earlier, another family wasn't as fortunate. Police say a couple and their six-year-old were walking their chihuahua in the same area when the pit bulls attacked. The gentleman picked up his dog, you know, out of there and it actually jumped, knocked the, knocked the guy down and the dog took off into traffic because it got loose and when they ran into all three, I got hit by a car. The Chihuahua died. Police say the two pits came from this business. We talked to the man who police say owns the dogs about the pending charges he's to face, but he told us off camera the dogs are not his. Animal Services says they've dealt with the same man before from previous animal attacks. Olszewski is thankful he and his dogs made it out okay kind of an awakening to just, you know, any time you go out, especially around this area, like you never know. Now the family whose dog died during the attack wouldn't go on camera, but says the experience was traumatic. The two pit bulls in this case were euthanized. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Gabrielle. Animal Services says a suspected owner will face charges, including obstruction, because police say he tried to deny ownership of the pit bulls, even though they saw the dogs in his yard.